Hey guys, I'm Ezzy and welcome to this quick start raiding guide for Golden Lord Argomac on normal and heroic difficulty in the Blackrock Depths raid for WoW's 20th anniversary event. To start with, interrupt and kill the Golem Lord to start the actual fight. When Argomac dies, he'll become a spirit that empowers one Golem at a time, giving them energy. Once they reach 100% energy, they'll do an ultimate ability and then the spirit moves on to the next Golem. While you'll be fighting four golems, it's really only two that you'll actually touch. Magmatron and Arcanotron need to be tanked and kept away from the other golems. The golems share a health pool and if they get within 10 yards of one another, they'll deal increased damage. So just keep them away from each other. Meanwhile, Toxitron and Electron will just be throwing their spells at you. We'll cover the abilities per golem. You'll be dealing with all golems' abilities throughout the entire fight, except for their ultimates. So, Toxitron is up first. He'll be off on a ledge throwing poison puddles onto the ground. Don't stand in the swirl or the puddle. His ultimate, Poison Mist, will put a two-stage dot on the entire group. In stage one, the dot will have a duration and you'll just have to heal through the damage. After it fades, you get the second stage of the dot, Poison Soaked. This has no duration and will keep dealing damage to you forever. However, you can get rid of this by standing in Magmatron's Flamethrower for a second to burn the stage to poison away. Next, as we're already talking about him, Magmatron. Flamethrower is a cone that will increase your physical damage taken by 1% per stack. On normal, this did not require a tank swap, but on heroic it might. Now tanks, you have a very important job with Flamethrower. Flamethrower doesn't just clear the dot, it also clears up the poison puddles on the floor. So it's your job to make Magmatron walk around the room to clear the puddles. This is because of Magmatron's ultimate, Incineration. He'll be empowered third, and this will deal a large amount of AoE damage to the entire group. And its damage is increased by each poison puddle that hasn't been cleaned up when it's cast. Of course, the entire raid should use a personal cooldown for this AoE. Now going back a step, the second golem that will be empowered is Electron. Chain Lightning will just cause damage, and if you get the live wire circle on you, move away from others. Healers, once a person is away, dispel them to get rid of the debuff. Now when you get linked to someone else by Electron's ultimate lethal attraction, run to and hug the person you're linked with until the link fades. If you're not standing close together when the link expires, you die. Lastly, we have Arcanotron, and he'll be empowered to last. Soak the Arcane Overcharge Circles to catch the Energy Ball falling to the ground. Every time you catch it, you'll get a stacking debuff, increasing your Arcane damage taken. But it will also reduce the damage it does on the raid when it becomes too fast for you to catch it in time. This is primarily a tank job, but other raiders can safely get a few stacks as well when it's too far for the tank to catch. And when his ultimate power generator is cast, everyone should walk through the small orbs. Do not let these orbs reach any of the golems. When you soak them, you get a small damage buff. And if the golems soak them, they'll increase their damage taken by 10% per stack. So everyone needs to get these. Once power generator ends, the empowerment goes back to Toxitron and the fight repeats itself. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can also follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at twitter.com slash and twitch.tv slash For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.